Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner and I'm going to call this one Classic Candy. It's not technically classic. Um, but these have been around for a while in other forms. I know they've got the uh, York Peppermint Patties, Palmer, some of the other um, the little ones. And these are, I found these at uh, Big Lots, they're only a dollar. But I'm gonna give them a try just because they are kind of like classic style. And this is Zachary's Thin Mints. They're little peppermint, like little peppermint patties. And they got the uh, the Thin Mints. They're the little uh, candies. And then they also had one called Thin Mints, but this is orange flavor. I haven't seen that particular one. I noticed that there were some that the little ones, little bag, I think it was like um, for Easter time. And I'm going to go ahead and open this one, see if I can um, figure this out. Probably not a lot in here. I know mostly it's uh, the York Peppermint Patty and some of the other ones. After dinner, sometimes you'd see them like at the, um, you go to the, the diners and stuff and they'd be at the register, you know, in a bucket. They'd be like, you know, nickel a piece. Uh, yeah, not, not very big. All right. Very tiny. But, uh, yeah, these are like, <laughs> yeah, so Thin Mints, and then they're going to be candy. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Kind of like the Andes, too. That's really good. <laughs> oh, yes. Definitely good. Nice and refreshing, especially after dinner especially if you've had something spicy kind of cleanse your palate but there is a orange one mm. not as um not as soft kind of more um dense and chewy like a taffy kind of mm. The orange kind of comes through. I think I like the regular mint ones a little better. But I've known in the past, the York peppermint patties, the little ones, sometimes for Halloween, have the little small size in a bag. But you had those all the time in um, restaurants party favor sometimes. <clears throat> I think you even put them in like pinatas. I don't know if Brock's had them. Maybe they did. Mm. But certainly nice and refreshing. Oh, the little the little thin mints like a um, nice and refreshing snack. They've been around for quite a while. Any kind of peppermint snack and peppermint and chocolate go really well together. Andy's mints or peppermint patties, the Thin Mints. Also the Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies, those are really good. And um, these, yeah, th this actually reminds me of the other thing is the Junior Mints, almost like a, a little bit bigger scale of Junior Mint. Those are a lot thicker, but uh, yeah, the, the, the peppermint tastes a lot like the Junior Mints. Now I know that they probably in the past have had um, different flavor Junior Mints. I know they had like a peppermint one for Christmas and I think for Halloween they put out the orange and black centers but they're not different flavor so they were always fun to try and yeah now these are 100 American American made what did it say uh, don't have a story or zacharyconfections.com go there and check it out like I said I was just in big lots going down the aisle They've got a lot of different old-time candy there, some of those ones. And this one just kind of popped out at me, and I, like, for a dollar, kind of remembered the whole Thin Mint thing and when I was young. And like I said, very good palate cleanser after, you know, um, spicy meal, garlic, anything like that. And put them in the freezer. 
keep those in the freezer, get them nice and cold. Don't take them out until you're ready to eat them. And sometimes you could put them like on a ice cream, you know, break them on top of ice cream, make a, your own blizzard, I guess you could do that. Mix it in, <laughs> mix it in a, a mixer, I guess. Make your own uh, McFlurry, make your own blizzard, um, break it up, smash it up, <laughs> grind it up even in the um, thing. Now, if you're gonna grind it up, I think you'd have to freeze it first and then put it in the blender really quick. Or I guess you could even grate it. <laughs> but those are classic. They've been around for quite a while. Any kind of peppermint or thin mints, junior mints, any, any of those kind of chocolate, covered in chocolate. Though they're the best. The best ones are the dark chocolate on top of the regular mint. And like, you know, can't go wrong with chocolate and peppermint. True classic. Been around for many years. A lot of people have tried them. Probably your um, grandparents, grandparents and grand, grandfather, grandmothers, you know, they probably had those when they were little. And seems to me that like, you know, when kids were in school, they were always selling some kind of um, candies and mints and stuff, high price, you know, he, this this box would be like, you know, $5. And I know the profits go to the school or they go to the, um, the athletic fund or whatever they were promoting for the sales. So, um, yeah, if you, if you can find it, like I said, go to Big Lots, uh, pick up a box. Also, the York Peppermint Patties and some, some of the other stores. Those are a little more expensive, though, unless you buy the individual ones. And those are about a dollar, so these are fairly small. But they're nice and refreshing after a spicy meal. So there you go, guys. A little bit of memory with, of the Thin Mints or Peppermint patties, I guess, I call them. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over here. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, where I'll be trying another classic candy for you. I'm going to put these in the freezer and let them chill. So until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.